Welcome to Thermal Imaging 101. We're going to talk about today how thermal imaging cameras work and help firefighters understand what they're seeing. If you check out any thermal imaging camera when you turn it on, there's a slight delay as they turn on. It's the warm-up process. Some start, on, start up in less than five seconds like the Attack Pro. Some take as long as 30 seconds. You need to know how long it takes for your camera to start up so you're not waiting on the camera to catch up with you. Once the camera turns on, the camera has to warm up and that happens in a matter of seconds. All cameras will experience something called a shuttering effect. That is normal as the camera does the simple process of firing a shutter in front of the detector and adjusting the image. This occurs on any camera as it starts up. When you move into a fire, however, you'll notice that certain cameras, as they switch from high to low sensitivity or high to low gain, there might be a slight delay from 0.3 seconds to as much as 2 seconds depending on the type of camera you're using. The Seek Attack Pro has eliminated that problem for firefighters and made it easier. When you scan from a low heat to a high heat environment due to dual gain or mixed gain mode technology, you're seeing little to no lag as you point from a cold environment to a hot environment because each pixel is switching independently. This can be demonstrated by simply coming to outside of a burn room and showing the firefighters to simply look at the cold area, scan up to the high heat area and bring it back down. Let them see that for themselves, compare the other models and notice the difference in speed and how this is going to simplify the decision making process when seconds counts, firefighters can't wait. This makes it easier, makes it simple, and makes it seek through the attack pro. Thanks for watching. Stay intelligently aggressive.